Howdy, I'm Sean, and once again, I'm here with Jason Freed, who is here to show us some little feature in Hay. Jason, what did you bring in for us today? Hey, Sean, so uh, so check this out. So, you know, with Hay, the first time somebody emails you, they land in your screener. Right. Which is a place where you can say, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. Yes, I want to hear from them. No, I never want to hear from them. Sometimes, however, you might meet someone who might be a professional contact. You might meet someone at a conference. You might be introduced to somebody. And you know, like, hey, if you email me, I absolutely want to hear from you. Right. Um, this happens. And so we've built in a cool little feature in Hey that makes it feel special. Um, so if you go to your screener, you might notice that there's this little key up here. You might have wondered, like, what is that? Well, if you click the key, you're going to get a little code. This is called your speakeasy code. If you give somebody that speakeasy code, and they include that in the subject of the first initial email that they send you, they're going to automatically be screened in. So they're going to bypass the screener. They're going to land right in your inbox. And they're going to get a little tiny green flag with a key on it to indicate that they use the speakeasy code to get in touch with you. Sure. This is someone you trust enough that you, you've you given them <laughs> backdoor access into your, your inbox. Exactly. Cool. Um, and there's two ways to get to it, by the way. There's a screener from the screener, right? Right. But sometimes you don't have the screener available because if you don't have anyone to screen and you don't see that. So if you go up to your avatar in the top right corner here and you select screener history, um, you're going to see a little key there. Click that. Same exact code. What if I don't like that code? If you don't like that code, you can click regenerate my code and it'll just pick another random, basically month and number sure. for you. Um, now, of course, if you change the code on someone and they have an old speakeasy code, it's not going to work. So you want to make sure you're not like constantly changing this. Right, right. You want to have a code in mind, find one that you like, and then use that basically moving forward. And uh, that's how the feature works. That's the speakeasy code in Hey. Awesome. Well, thanks, Jason. You bet.